Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be holding an informal two-day summit with the Chinese President Xi Jinping in the central Chinese city of Wuhan. The two leaders will of course seek to reset bilateral ties post the Doklam crisis which happened, which ended in August last year. Now, before leaving for China on Thursday evening, Prime Minister Narendra Modi also issued a statement saying that he hopes to discuss a range of bilateral issues of global importance with the Chinese leader Xi Jinping. Now, despite the informal nature of the summit, both leaders are of course expected to spend a considerable amount of time with each other. Now, the two leaders will also be first meeting in the afternoon in the East Lake Guest House from where they are expected to head out for a walk together. Now, later in the day, in the evening, President Xi Jinping will be hosting a dinner for the Indian Prime Minister. And then on Saturday, that is the 28th of April, which is the last day of these talks, both leaders are expected to have lunch together and also take a boat ride on the East Lake. Now, the last meeting between Xi Jinping and Prime Minister Narendra Modi had taken place in China's eastern city of Xiamen last September after the 9th BRICS summit. But the possibility of a reset in India and China ties has unsettled Pakistan. Feeling the heat, Islamabad has also issued a statement saying that the friendship between China and Pakistan is in fact time-tested. So this, this, of course, is another big summit-level talks. These are said to be informal talks. President Xi Jinping and Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be meeting in Wuhan. Now, what exactly will be the outcome of this meet is still not very clear, but it is widely being speculated that India and China would like to reset their ties post the Doklam standoff. But remember, there are many, many sticking points. What will be the resolution? How far will India and China inch ahead towards a resolution in, in terms of their bilateral ties? That, of course, remains to be seen. There is the border dispute. There is, of course, the issue of trade deficit, which India has picked up very strongly with the Chinese. Now, India has also picked up the issue of the kind of support which uh, China has been given, giving to Pakistan. Besides this, the issue of CPEC, which goes through Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. These are some of the big sticking points. Will any headway be made on this is, of course, the big question. To discuss more on this, we're joined in by my colleague Siddhant Sibyl. Siddhant, good morning to you. This, of course, is in many ways a significant visit where Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be meeting President Xi Jinping in an informal setting. Not only significant, historic, because it's for the first time that uh, uh, there is uh, some kind of informal summit happening and in such a short notice, uh, it was just announced a few days ago by the Indian Foreign Minister and of course the Chinese Foreign Minister when the Indian Foreign Minister was in Beijing for the SCO summit uh, and we saw that uh, announcement. But of course, lot is at stake because these are leaders of two most populous countries on the earth, the fastest growing economies on earth. And of course, there have been issues, um, especially the Doklam issue last uh, last year and uh, it's happening in the shadow of Doklam issue but it's heart to heart meeting a freewheeling meeting in which both the leaders will be discussing everything which is uh, on the table but of course mm -hmm. there will be no protocols there will be no joint communique there will be no joint statements and of course uh, the intent is that there is a strategic communication between New Delhi and Beijing and that is why the Indian Prime Minister is in Wuhan he landed yesterday night 10 p.m. Indian Standard Time and of course two days a uh, lot of things are expected a lot of optics are expected in a sense that a lot of good visuals we can we can see. I mean, there is a, a likelihood of a boat ride also on Yangtze. So what could happen on the banks of Sabarmati might just happen on the banks of Yangtze. Because remember, uh, there was initially a hometown diplomacy which took place uh, between both the leaders. The, the Indian Prime Minister had called the Chinese President to his hometown in Gujarat where we saw that uh, both the leaders were on the Jula and of course uh, later on the Indian Prime Minister went to the uh, hometown of the Chinese president uh, 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 where, from where we got good visuals as well and this is the fourth visit by the Indian Prime Minister. He went first on a bilateral visit then he went for G20 and then of course he went for BRICS and this is mm -hmm. the fourth visit but shortly in one month's time he'll be going for the SEO summit so this right. visit coming just ahead of the big SEO summit in China itself so a uh, lot of things will be discussed and a pretty uh, historic summit that's going to take place uh, between the Indian Prime right. Minister and the Chinese president. Absolutely. Uh, 
uh, Siddhartha, and also considering the fact that a lot of people have speculated that the reason why China is willing to reach out to India in this manner is because of the trade wars which Donald Trump seems to have declared on China in trying to address the trade deficit. But the fact of the matter is, India and China also have a massive trade deficit of about $60 billion. Any efforts will be made in terms of correcting that? Well, uh, it's not only the trade issue, there are other issues also. The world is in a flux, the world order is in a flux. We know that the, there are a lot of issues which are happening between West and Russia. The North Koreans and the South Koreans are just talking uh, as we speak. Uh, so the world is changing and that is why the Asian giants are more interested in talking to each other because they know uh, they can't fight. We had an exclusive chat with Dalai Lama. He also blessed the talks and said that mm -hmm. India and China can't fight with each other. They have to coexist. That is one issue. The right. issue of the trade uh, you talked about, the commerce, the trade minister of China was in India. There were a number of high-level visits between India and China before this uh, summit uh, uh, started. So the trade minister of China was there. He met with the commerce minister of India, Suresh Prabhu, and a lot of things were discussed. We also spoke to Suresh Prabhu, who said uh, that uh, uh, China has assured that this issue of trade uh, deficit will be will be uh, taken on or it will, right. be, will be solved pretty soon. Right. We'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, Siddhan Sibyl, for joining us. This, of course, is in many ways a historic visit. What will come of it is something that needs to be seen. India and China, the leaders of both these nations, will be meeting in an informal setting in Wuhan.